My name is Joel, and I currently attend Creative Arts High School. Growing up in Camden is hard. You can get into things that you can't get out of. I have been living in Camden for about eight years, and needless to say, I'm used to hearing sirens, seeing people buying and selling drugs on the corners, and listening to gossip of who got shot or shot somebody. I walk the streets of Camden most of the time, and unfortunately, it is not safe. Not a day passes by that I don't think. Is this going to be my last day? The first time I got in trouble with the law, I was in Suffolk, Virginia, at a gas station with a couple of friends, and I stole a candy bar and a soda just to be a part of the group and show them that I was bad. After that, trouble just kept on coming. I thought I was living the life I wanted because I had people who had my back, money in my pockets, and nobody telling me what to do. I was running away from home and getting into all kinds of trouble. I got arrested for possession and the judge ordered me to get a psychiatric evaluation. During that evaluation, the psychiatrist diagnosed me with depression and bipolar disorder. That summer, I just got more sucked into the streets. I was traumatized from the experience of having my best friend get shot and die right in my own arms. When I was 15, my father got locked up. Three days later, my friend got shot. I was alone in the game, so I was scared for a couple of months, riding through the streets by myself, working with people I don't trust. I just stopped caring about everything in the world. One day while walking in Centerville, which is an area in Camden, I saw the flyer with the words Hope Works on it. I read it and thought it was a good idea. A couple days later, I decided to go there and they showed me around. I thought it was a nice organization, so I applied and he told me to come in the next day. The next day, I became a trainee, started the curriculum, met new people, and learned new things that day. I decided to get my life straight and back on track. Of course, I had a few bumps along the way, but I would be worried if I didn't have any. So I got my GED, started working, came to HopeWorks, and I am just a few steps away from going to college. I know that I'm capable of great things. It's in my blood and engraved in my heart. But without hope works, it might have taken me a longer time to accomplish my dreams. I am forever grateful for the people there. I am 19 years old and I now attend college and have a job with hope works. My job now is to shelter my youngest brother, support the family, and continue pursuing my career. What matters is how you live life and understand it. I dropped the street mentality and accepted the next program that accepted me. That started my new beginning. I went to HopeWorks, which is going to help me graduate from college and graduate into a life that makes me a better man. That means no more streets, no more guns, and no more drugs. No more doing things the legal way. I recently got a job at a place called Hopeworks in Camden. At Hopeworks, I am part of a team called GAP that makes maps of places using various features of the computer, such as Adobe Illustrator and ArcMap. I have met a lot of cool people at Hopeworks, such as people my age and the older people too. Hopeworks is a cool place to be, with cool people, cool things to do, and a place to be social. I want to become an architect and then someday be able to raise a family. Being a teenage female growing up in Camden, there will not be a lot expected from me. However, I plan to rise above the boundaries that society has set for me 
and exceed academically, socially, and financially. I don't know where I'll end up, but even though I come from Camden, I will achieve beyond people's expectations and excel in life. I love Camden and the stupendous people it contains. I love the kind of people that show respect, pleasantness, and intelligence. These are the people that Camden contains, and we're the future, the generation that people will be most proud of. Always remember that it doesn't matter where you begin, but where you finish. There are a few places that direct you to the road not taken. Hope works. This place can never stare you wrong. You're free to express yourself, have fun, and most of all, learn. Thank you, Hope Works, for your kindness, humor, and care. With your help, my dreams of being a doctor and a music video producer will come true. Remember, you can do right, succeed, and achieve. No matter where you're from, you can be anything you want to be. If put your mind to it.